In this video, we're going to talk about factoring trinomials that have leading coefficients other than 1. So, for example, we see number 1 here. We have a numerical value of 5 out in front. So that's what we're talking about. When trinomials have a numerical coefficient in front of the squared term. We're going to use something called the AC method for factoring in order to accomplish this. We can't rely on reverse FOIL in a dependable way. You can use reverse FOIL, but we have to find factors of 5 for our first term, factors of 7 for our second term, or for our last term rather, and the combination of those have to add up to give us this middle term. And they wind up referring to that oftentimes as the guess and check model. I don't like the guess and check model. Uh, we could easily come up with a trinomial that has a great number of factorizations and only one of them is going to be right. So AC method, what does it look like is happening here with the A and the C? Looks like they're being multiplied and that's correct. So A refers to our leading coefficient, C refers to our constant. So this method starts off by multiplying our leading coefficient times our constant. 5 times 7 is 35. We're going to look for factors of 35. Factors of 35, and we need them to add to the middle term, positive 12. So in this regard, it's fairly similar to the reverse FOIL. The only difference is, instead of simply selecting the last term to find our factors, we've got to multiply A times C. So factors of 35 that can multiply together to get 35, but can add together to give us 12. So hopefully you're looking at this and saying, well, 35, that's certainly divisible by 5. We could multiply 7 times 5. So I hope you're developing a good strong number sense here at this point where you're starting to see these relationships. 7 plus 5 is 12. Now in reverse FOIL, we would be done right now. We would take these numbers and plug them into our parentheses. But with the reverse FOIL method, it's not quite that simple. We're going to take this middle term and simply replace it with the values we found. What you see is what you get, but in this case, for the middle term. So here's how, what it's going to look like. We're going to copy down 5x squared. I have a positive 7x and a positive 5x. And then we're going to copy down our last term, our plus 7. And notice that these middle terms, 7x plus 5x, does give us 12x, okay? So this is setting up a four-term polynomial. In all reality, the AC method is over now. The whole point of the AC method is simply to take a trinomial and to rewrite it into a four-term polynomial. But specifically, this sets us up to where we can use factor by grouping. So I'm going to split this down. Factor by grouping, I think that you probably already have a good handle on. So GCF on the left hand side is X. And the answer to our division will go inside of parentheses. Looks like we're going to be left with 5X plus 7. GCF on the right, only thing looks like goes into both of these is 1. So since it's a positive 1, we put plus 1. And still leaves us with 5X plus 7. And so our final answer is the parentheses make up one factor, 5x plus 7. And the values on the outside make up a second factor, so x plus 1. So it may seem like it's quite a few steps, but I think that the AC method is fairly easy to follow through as long as you nail down your factors here. The way it worked is we simply multiplied first times last to get our factors of 35. And just like before, they still have to add to give us the middle term. Once we picked those terms, or once we picked those factors, rather, we used them to replace the middle term. And then it's just factor by grouping from there. Let's look at one more example, and I think when you see this at full speed, you'll get the idea that it's not that daunting of a process once you do a handful of them. So let's try this one. We see here that we're dealing with an A and a C, 3 times negative 8 this time, so we're going to find factors of negative 24, right? 3 times negative 8. And we need these in, uh, to be able to add to our middle term, which is negative 10. So how can we multiply to get negative 24? Well, if you're seeing it quickly, 12 times 2 is 24, but we need a negative 
12. That'll multiply to negative 24, and it'll add together to give us negative 10. If you didn't see it right off the bat, that's okay. If you just keep listing factors that work, you're eventually going to hit one that adds to negative 10. All right, so what we see is what we get. In this case, for AC method, we're replacing the middle term. So I'm going to copy down 3x squared, and instead of negative 10x, I put negative 12x and positive 2x, and we still have our last term, minus 8. And that leaves us with a factor by grouping problem. So the AC method is really kind of done right there, and we're just going to finish with factor by grouping. In this case, it looks like our GCF on the left-hand side is 3x. So we'll divide by 3x. GCF goes to the outside, and the answer to our division on the inside leaves us x minus 4. GCF on the right-hand side, it looks like we're going to use a positive 2, so plus 2 on the outside, and the answer to our division on the inside, x minus 4. Parentheses match, so the parentheses make one factor, and the values on the outside make the second factor, so 3x plus 2. And that's it, that's the AC method. I like this method because it works every time, and it works on the first try. And this thing's never going to change. What you see here is the process you're always going to use with a trinomial when there's a leading coefficient. So that's what it's about. Here's one for you to try. Go ahead and pause the video, take your time on this. When you're ready, hit play, and let's see if you got it. Okay, so this is a trinomial leading coefficient. We're using AC method here. That means that we're going to be looking for the factors of 3 times 6, factors of 18, and these are going to need to add up to, add to, negative 11. So 18, well certainly we should see 9 times 2 will give us 18, but these need to add to negative 11. If I change this to negative 9 and negative 2, that still multiplies to positive 18, but when I add them together, they do in fact add to give us negative 11, right, when we add these. Okay, so these are our factors, negative 9 and negative 2, and we're going to use those to replace the middle term. So 3x squared, instead of minus 11x, we get minus 9x and minus 2x. And we still have our plus 6 at the end. So now there's four terms. We're ready for factor by grouping. GCF on the left, it looks like, will be 3x. So GCF to the outside, and the answer to our division will go on the inside, x minus 3. Right-hand side, GCF looks like it would be 2, but we've got to use the sign of the leading term, so we're going to use a negative 2. That'll go to the outside, minus 2. And answer to our division will go on the inside, x minus 3. Parentheses match, and they make our first term, or our first factor, rather, and the values on the outside, 3x minus 2, will make our next one, 3x minus 2. So I hope you managed to get that one right. That's the AC method for factoring, and we use it when there's a coefficient other than 1 in front of our trinomials.